St. Augustine, our companion in tribulations. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. You inspire us, O Lord, to delight in praising you. Because you made us for yourself, our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Psalm 133 How good and pleasant it is when brothers live in unity. It is like precious oil upon the head, running down upon the head, running down upon the bird, upon the color of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon which falls on the heights of Zion, for there the Lord gives his blessings life forever. You inspire us, O Lord, for, to delight in praising you. Because you made us for yourself, our hearts are restless until they rest in you. A reading from the Sermons of St. Augustine. You have before you Christ as your end. You have no need to go on looking anymore. The moment you believed, you already recognized it. But faith alone is not enough unless works too are joined to it. Faith working through love, says the Apostle. Letany of Saints Augustine and Monica, please all kneel. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. God the Father of Heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Mary, Mother of Jesus, pray for us. Mary, Mother of Consolation, pray for us. Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. St. Augustine, Triumph of Divine Grace, pray for us. St. Augustine, Faithful to Grace, Pray for us. Saint Augustine, on fire with love of God, pray for us. Saint Augustine, filled with zeal for God's glory, pray for us. Saint Augustine, bright star of the church, pray for us. Saint Augustine, so great and so humble, pray for us. St. Augustine, dauntless defender of the faith, pray for us. St. Augustine, prince of bishops and doctors, pray for us. St. Augustine, father of monastic life, pray for us. St. Monica, devout mother of St. Augustine, pray for us. St. Monica, whose prayers turn Augustine to God, pray for us. Saint Monica, pattern for wives, pray for us. Saint Monica, exemplar of widows, pray for us. Saint Monica, devoted to prayer, pray for us. Saint Monica, so steadfast in trials, pray for us. Saint Monica, so patient in sorrow, pray for us. Saint Monica, so happy in death, pray for us. Saint Monica, devoted child of Mary, mother of consolation, pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Pray for us, Saint Augustine that we may become worthy of the promises of Christ. Pray for us, St. Monica, 
that we may become worthy of the promises of Christ. Prayer, God of truth, desire of all hearts, we praise you for your love that touched the heart of Augustine and awakened in him the quest for your truth. Attracted by the good things you made, he learned to seek your face and to know the joy of your presence. The name of Christ, echoing from infancy in the depths of his heart, called him back to your word. The teacher who dwells within, with Augustine, we praise the work of your love and proclaim your action of grace in our lives. Through the intercession of Augustine, we ask you to hear our prayer. Here, mention your requests. Teach us daily to live by his example so that our restless hearts may find your peace and our lives may rejoice in your love. St. Augustine, pray for us. Praise be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Intercessory prayer to St. Monica. Faithful God, light of all hearts, we praise you for St. Monica, woman of living faith and reconciling love. She nursed her son, St. Augustine, in the name of Jesus and urged him tirelessly to a Christian way of life. In answer to her prayers for St. Augustine's conversion, you, you gave her greater joy than all her tears had dared to ask. Through the intercession of St. Monica, we ask you to hear our prayers. Here mention your requests. As you once captivated the heart of St. Augustine, so now draw our hearts to you, beauty ever ancient, ever new. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Monica, pray for us. Horatio Imperata God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, 
Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Protector of Holy Church, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Walk, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and Companion Martyrs, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsud, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is the second day of our Novena Masses in honor of Saint Augustine. In this Mass, we pray for a swift end to the, to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts the world, that God our Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, Grant success to those working to eradicate this curse. Help us all to persevere in faith and welcome to his kingdom all who pass away because of this disease. We also remember today all the intentions of the pilgrims and devotees of Senor Santo Nino. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you, good things which I, which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises that surpasses every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will prove the holiness of my great name, profane among the nations, in whose midst you have profaned it. 
Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God. When their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm letter response B. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will pour the water on you, and wash away all your sins. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. I will pour water on you and wash away all your sins. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit and a heart Contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. I will pour my water on you and wash away all your sins. Today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priest and the elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. 
The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads, and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guest, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Blind his, Bind his hands and feet and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Mayong buntag, kanatong tanan. We are now on the second day of our Novena Masses in honor of Saint Augustine, whose feast day we will celebrate this coming August 28. Our Gospel today tells us that God invites everyone, all of us, to His Kingdom. While that invitation to the Kingdom of Heaven is open for everybody, the human beings still have the choice to respond or not to that invitation. This is being illustrated in the parable we read today. In the end, when God made and created us, He included freedom. And that is the seat of our choice. Wala tagihin mo niya nga robot ba? Nga kung sa'y gusto sa sa nag-manage or sama sa computer, mga po yung mahimo, wala na yung sense of freedom, wala na yung sense of choice. However, God, when created us, siya tanggitaga no ingon niya na nga gasa. Arong kita sa itong kagulingon, sa itong uh, kahiladman, mangandoy, dihapon, kaniya, diha sa atong kagawasan. However, for us at this time, one thing should be clear. We need to have that disposition of being constantly ready to join the feast in the kingdom of God. Managing only St. John Paul II, our freedom on our end must be directed towards doing good for the kingdom of heaven. So, mani ang ingon nato sa tong gospel karon that we need to have that disposition of being constantly ready to join the feast in the kingdom of God. For that is the greatest good that God has in store for all of us. The greatest good. Pinaka dakok nga kaayo, pinaka nindot nga kaayo, tungod kay greatest good, wala na yung mas malabaw pa nga kaayo niya na. And God is no other than our own greatest good. So wala yung dakong kalainan, ang kahimtang sa kingdom of God, o ka na nga itong pagkauban sa iyong presensya. Because He is our greatest good. O ba niya ang giningo ni St. John Paul II, na nga itong pangandoy, o giningo po na ni San Agustin, na itong desire should focus on ourselves being united with God as our greatest good. And God, for that matter, will always find a way that will enable us to partake in that banquet. That is being said in our first reading and also in our psalm today. No? Na naghatag ang ginoo every chance, every opportunity for us to be able 
to respond more readily to that invitation. Saint Augustine was a man imbued with the desire for a happy life. Pusa siya katao, sa dihang naka batun na siya igong pangunaw na sa iyang panu igon, no? Nangandoy siya sa sa kabutang o kahimtang na siya may mong malipayan na tao. There was an intense desire in him for a happy life. And because of that, he sought for those that would fulfill that desire. This made him engaged or get involved with lots of things or undertakings that for us today may not appear to be morally viable or tolerable. So you must have uh, familiar. You must be familiar with the life of Saint Augustine. Katung mga dalan na hiwi na yung nagyan na sayta in our own understanding today may not be morally viable or tolerable. But he did it out of that desire to be happy. And we know that in the end, in all those years, wala siya magmalipayon. And so as his search continued, God led him to himself. It may have taken a long way before Augustine found his way to God, but it made Augustine a worthy guest in the banquet. So, more than 30 years old na siya, nakonverted, nabagko. It may have taken a long way, but it made Augustine a worthy guest in the banquet of the kingdom of God. And God made it happen for Augustine. God will make it happen for all of us as well. Brothers and sisters, the life of St. Augustine is just among the many inspirations for us to take as guide for us to respond more appropriately to the invitation of God to partake in His banquet. And we know that God's invitation to partake in His banquet is not restricted to a select few. His kingdom is open to all without any distinction. Even those who seem unworthy. No? Bisan sa atong mga, atong mga nakita na itong seemingly unworthy. Still, the kingdom of God is open to them. Even those, even at times we might have felt we are unworthy. We are wrong to think that way. No? Kay wala ang yun bausab. Ang pamaagi sa paghihugma sa Diyos alam kanatong tanan. The thing is, it does not matter how we or others see ourselves. Dili na mao ang importante. Rather, what matters most is that we know that God always looks at us with love. And God will always find a way that we will be able to partake in the banquet of His kingdom. Please all stand. God invites us to the banquet of eternal life in heaven. Let us ask our loving Father for all our needs. And so we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the church and earth may continue to flourish and draw many to the feast of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the rich and the poor alike may not make excuses to evade the, the call of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by having pure and contrite hearts, 
we may be found worthy to come to the banquet God has prepared for us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bring God's compassion and kindness to the sick and the disabled. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the servant of God, Theophilo Kamumut, Bishop, be raised to the altar of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions and prayers offered by the pilgrims and devotees of Senior Santo Nino, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our country and in the whole world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all indirect patient care, give them strength for their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those isolated in their homes, sustain them in joy and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For decision makers at all levels, send them with your wisdom and good counsel to serve their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died because of the pandemic and those who grieve their loss in isolation, comfort them in their sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you invite us to be with you in your kingdom. As we pray for others, help us to bring them with us to that banquet set forth by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange that by offering what you have given may be merry to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And in your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father and eternal God. For you pray, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By the way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship, by their intercession and sure support, so that encouraged by so a great cloud of witnesses, 
we may run as victors in the race for us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have had us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, that you spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Saint Augustine, and all the saints who have please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Yeah. 
Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now. Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you, Stephen. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worried that I should enter under my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be co heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits roaming around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Holy Angels in Heaven, pray for us. Blessings of Religious Articles. Let us pray. God, by your word, all things are made holy. Pour out your blessings on these religious articles. And grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law, and with a spirit of thanksgiving, may experience their power, health in body, and protection in soul, as they invoke your most holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. May muntag ka na tong tanan. May muntag ka na tong tanan.